Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 26052. This build includes a number of notable changes and enhancements over the last public preview build that we demoed. This build has quite a few new things in it, so let's waste no time diving straight in. Uh, the first notable changes are with Win uh, Windows Copilot and how it integrates with the overall UX. So starting with this build, the Copilot icon down here is a little bit more animated. So whenever you copy images or text, so if we come down to an article here and copy this image, for example, you'll see that the Copilot icon will animate. So there it is, it's animating into a picture. And if we hover over the icon, you'll see that there's now a little sort of context menu here that allows you to send the thing you've just copied to Copilot, explain the thing you've just copied, or if it's an image in this case, edit the image. So if I ask Copilot to explain the image I just copied, I can't wait to see what it does. Oh, it doesn't actually work. <laughs> uh, I think it normally does work. Anyway, what it would do is it would paste the image into Copilot like so, and I guess it would probably add an explain <laughs> prefix to that. And um, yeah, this is what it would do. So let's see what happens here as it thinks about the image I've just sent it. It's taking a while. I, I try not to edit out Copilot performance because Microsoft needs to learn that this is too slow. <laughs> Uh, provided shows three individuals wearing virtual reality VR headsets. Their faces are obscured for anonymity. Well, anon <laughs> anonymity. Yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. Um, so that works as so. We can also do it with text. So let's, uh, I don't know, copy this text here. Why not? Right click and copy. And there is also an Ask Copilot button there in Edge anyway. But let's assume this isn't Edge. This is another browser and it doesn't have an Ask Copilot button. You can select copy. And yep, you get a little pencil there. And once again, I can hover over that and I can ask it to summarize. And there we go, that time it works. So I can press on send. And it will summarize that short paragraph into something hopefully shorter. Um, nope, that's almost just as long. What's the point? <laughs> okay, you get the point though. You can copy media or text, no matter where you are, whether it be within a browser or in a, in a local app. So we can even open, say, Notepad, for example and uh, do the same thing. We can have lots of text in here. Oh, this is some text. Perfect. Copy. And as you can see, the uh, Copilot icon down here is ready to do something with that information that you've just copied, which is pretty nice. All right. Up next, if we jump into settings here and go down to system and developers, uh, we will see a new feature called sudo, enable sudo. Uh, I've already enabled this. It's off by default because there are some security risks that come with enabling it, at least according to Microsoft. Uh, but this enables the sudo command. This is a command line tool which allows you to run applications and things in an elevated state. This is a thing that's on Linux, has been on Linux for quite a while, if not forever. <laughs> and it's now coming uh, to... Uh... Uh, Windows as well. And so it will do similar things to sudo on Linux. Probably not identical. I wouldn't know. Uh, but here you go. We can write, we can run uh, sudo help for all of the commands and stuff it can do. I'm not going to dive into this because I don't really know what sudo does. But we can do sudo run, for example, and an app of our choice. So notepad.exe. And there we are. Sudo is now running notepad.exe, which is pretty fun. And you can also customize how it runs the applications as whether it be in a new window with input disabled or in Lime. So that's pretty cool. Now, up next in the registry editor, Microsoft has added another thing. Uh, it's surprising whenever Microsoft updates a legacy app in Windows, but they do it quite a lot these days. So if we go to the find icon here, you'll see there's now a search and subtree option, uh, which is fun. Now, another notable change in this build is if we go to settings, and go down to um, about, you'll see that Microsoft has updated the version uh, of this release to version 24H2. Now, that's not too surprising, uh, but Microsoft has also confirmed along with this change that this release will be Windows 11 branded. There was some speculation that it might be Windows 12, but no, it does appear that they're sticking with the Windows 11 brand, and it will be Windows 11 version 24H2 when it rolls out later this year. And you can see that down here, version 24H2 confirmed, which is pretty nice. And that also shows up in uh, Winver, like so. If you see here, we can see Windows 11 version 24H2, which is pretty cool. And also this build, it's set the, this is the first build that comes from the GE underscore release branch. The previous builds were from the RS underscore pre-release uh, branch. GE underscore release is the base 
branch, I guess, of the next major version of Windows, which will be Windows 11 version 24H2. Uh, it's GE underscore the release because the element GE is Germanium, which is the code name for the current semester and the name of the next platform release. A little bit confusing, but it doesn't really matter. All you need to know is that it will be Windows 11 version 24H2 when it rolls out to you uh, later this year if you're not already testing it in the Insider Preview Builds. Up next, if we come down to Bluetooth and devices and go down to... Uh, I lie, it's not in here, it's in system. <laughs> we go down to sound, if I can find it. Oh man, it says a lot in here. There we go, sound. And then we go down to our input. We go to our microphone here and we can now uh, test the microphone using different audio processing. This is part of um, a wider rollout of voice clarity, which was a machine learning AI feature that was exclusive to Surface previously, I think, or something like that, I can't remember. But it's now rolling out to basically all Windows 11 PCs. And what it will do is um, block out background noise uh, when you're talking using a microphone. And uh, you can now test that here uh, as well. So if you want to start the test, we'll go to, we'll do default and see if there's any difference. This is a test just to see how this microphone sounds. And I can play that back. This is a test just to see how this microphone sounds. I don't know if you can hear that. I certainly can't hear it, but let's pretend you, I'm going to cut this demo if you can't hear it. Uh, let's do the test again, this time with um, the communications pre uh, set, set, preset, set. There you go. Uh, this is a test once again to see if this sounds any better or worse. And we can now play that. This is again to see if this sounds any better or worse. And who knows how that sounded? I can't hear it. So hopefully that sounded better or worse. I have no idea. But with that, I think that ends this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.